and the reason I'm doing this is because um, with this um, we can make sure that it's actually been entered into the database. We want to change this to 1. So what we want to do here, this, uh, what this is doing is we're checking to see if it's been entered into the database. So if it hasn't been entered, which means it will return a number of uh, something that's not 1, we're going to say your request has not been um, save for an unknown reason. And we're not going to display the form on that one. So if it has been um, added and everything, we're just going to say have an echo. We're going to say uh, your request has been added. Click here to view it. And then we're going to have a link. So h uh, anchor tags href equals it's going to be our site slash request re request underscore put. And after that we want to say id equals um, and then dollar sign id. Now we haven't gotten this id um, value yet, so don't freak out. Um, so to get that, we want to say dollar sign row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore sock, and this needs to be our query. Whoops. And then we want to say dollar sign id equals dollar sign row, and inside of here we just want to say id. So your request has been added. Click here to view it, and we're going to say click. Or better yet, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to cut it, and paste it right there. So it's going to make click here to view it, our link itself. And then after that, uh, we're not going to have anything. So that will actually add everything to the database. We can actually add a, uh, a request now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up, and I have just realized this is um, part two of this video, because um, it exceeded the uh, length. Um, now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to set a style to that, our text box, to make it um, the same width. So, width of 400, after we re-upload, refresh, and it's fixed. So our title is going to be, this is a test, um, this is test content. Uh, new line, um, and the reason I'm doing that is so um, we can have multiple lines in here and to show that it's actually working. So I'm gonna click post. Um, oh, and that's actually my fault because it's not the requires. It's scripts. There we go. So refresh, resend, and still got a problem. Okay, so numrows isn't working, line 40 and 48. So if we look back at the page, ah, because numrows right here is set to numrows, which it should be our query. And I totally spelled that wrong. So change that, and whoops, refresh, resend, and my server is still just not taking data up. You may not double post. Okay. So that means our post has been entered if we click structure. Uh, we can now browse. Um, so our post has been entered. And oh yeah, my IP, I oh, probably should block that out. Um, so our content and everything has been entered. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click back on the request page. Um, and we're going to scroll down to, you can only um, to post you have to log in. Uh, what we're going to do is down here we're going to require our um, script slash connect.php and I just thought about this and I'm going to put this right above our username area right here. Whoops. 
and I'm gonna get rid of it in here. I'm gonna take our close statement and I'm gonna paste it down here. So that's just gonna help me out a little bit. So in here, uh, I'm gonna create a query. And let's say select all from uh, request underscore put um, order by ID descending. Um, and eventually we're probably going to do pagination, but probably not. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it, but it won't be too hard to beat. Of numlock. Uh, so we want num rows. So in here, we're going to say if num rows is greater than zero, which means there is at least one post in here, um, then we're going to have an else echo. Um, there are no tutorial requests right now. You can be the first. So, just a simple message, I guess. Um, no tutorial requests. Um, so inside of here, what we want to do is we want to, um, pretty much put in a while loop and we're gonna say let's see um, this is gonna be our row variable so mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock inside of here we have our query so we need to get our ID so really we need to get each piece of information out of our database so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get okay so I've gotten everything here uh, you should go ahead and copy that down. And do note that I'm storing the IP address in a user underscore IP variable. So just something to note. Then we're going to have our echo. And this echo statement is pretty much just going to echo out specific information. Um, but above our while loop, I'm going to put in an echo. And below our while loop, I'm going to put in an echo. Um, now to make this look nice and neat, I'm going to put it in a table. And above or below our while loop, we want an end table tag. And above it, we want a start table tag. And then um, after that, we don't want anything. So inside of here, we want a, a row, so we'll tr tags and ntr. And then we want ah, there we go. Um, then inside, we want td tags and td. So a TD is essentially our column. So our first one is going to be our user underscore name, which is going to be a link to um, site slash profile question mark ID equals user underscore ID. Um, our next one is going to be our title. Now, I'm going to show you how to make our title shorter, just in case. Um, so we have title, and then after that we're going to have likes, whoops, likes, and uh, dislikes. I spell that right. So we're going to have likes and dislikes. Um, now, our table, we're going to have um, the exact same thing above it, um, sort of. And I'll explain that in a second. Okay, so we have this now. What we want to do is we want to create each of these four. So one, two, three. We're going to have our uh, username. Uh, and then we're going to have title, likes, dislikes. And then uh, for now, that's just going to be it. Um, so if we upload this file now, and we'll be able to see it. 
Okay, so if I refresh the page, you can see we have username, title, likes, dislikes. Um, this is a test and everything. Um, so obviously this is really, really small. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to stretch it out. So, um, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this, our title, or our form here, and we're going to put it in another file. So I'm going to duplicate the request page. I'm going to rename it add underscore request underscore tut. Open it up. Uh, we're going to leave the title, well, add a request for a tutorial. Um, we're going to keep our if username here. And then I'm going to scroll down to where we have our query here. And I'm going to remove all this stuff. And right here, we're going to say to post. Uh, wait, whoops. Oh, video request. To post your own. Yeah, to video request. That'll work. Video slash tutorial request. Um, please log in. Um, and then we're going to have all this. We need to change our form to um, add underscore request hut. And on our index page itself, um, we need to. Um, inside of here, I'm going to get rid of all of this. Oops. Sorry, you're it's probably freaking out on your screen. Um, but inside of here, we're going to say if username. Um, uh, slash tutorial. So if username, we're going to echo anchor tags. Um, click here to post your own video slash tutorial request. And it's going to have href equals site slash um, add underscore whoops uh, add underscore request underscore tut. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload both of these now. Okay, so after we upload, if we refresh, we don't have our form anymore, but we have our link. Click here to add, and we have our page now. So it's getting our page and everything. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to put in an extra anchor tag right here. Or not an anchor tag, sorry. A, a break tag just to give it another line. Um, now what we're, what we're going to do is our TR, I'm going to set a um, style and background dash color. And for now, I'm just going to set it to FFF, which is, or no, not FFF, uh, CCC, which is like a dark gray color. And I'll explain why. So after we upload and refresh, uh, you can see we now have our um, everything being displayed, and it's kind of showing a, a dark box around it, and that just kind of gives us uh, an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this code. Oops, copy it, paste it down here, and if we refresh, we just have it showing it, so we can tell uh, what it looks like. So before I end this video, uh, we're going to put in some cell spacing and cell padding. So we have our table, we're going to say cell spacing equals, and I'm going to say 10 pixels, and cell padding equal to uh, 5 pixels. So if we refresh, it kind of just oops, it loads, it kind of just spaces everything out uh, to make it look a little bit nicer, and I'm going to drop it down to 5 so I dropped it down to five. So um, I'm gonna stop this video here. Uh, this is the end of part two of part 49. Um, in the next video, we will continue on with our requested tutorial section.